I've always thought that this place is an early example of the mistakes that can happen when translating from Welsh to English. I imagine visitors coming here and asking the local about the name of this place, Cayedra Wynol, and they thought that a Wynol sounds like Wenol, which is the Welsh for swallow, and came up with Swallow Falls, when in fact the correct translation should be Foaming Falls, because Ewyn is foaming water. But in fact, it seems I'm wrong, because in 1773, there's a record of these falls being called Rhaeadr a Wenol, because the water forks or splits as it cascades down the rocks and looks like a swallow's tail. So Rhaeadr a Wenol is a mispronunciation of Rhaeadr a Wenol. So Swallow Falls is the correct translation. Who knew? But there's another very old name around here that's far less contentious. This special gravestone is called Cantiorix Stone. The stone dates back to the period soon after the Romans left the British Isles. The inscription reads, Here lies Cantiori, citizen of Venedotis and cousin of Maglus, the magistrate. But it's this word, Venedotis, that's important to us because it's a very early form of the name Gwynedd. This, then, is the first written record of Gwynedd as a place or a kingdom. Venedotis means the land of the Venei, a tribe from Ireland originally who settled in these parts after the Romans had left. And over time, the name Venedotis changed and evolved and became eventually Gwynedd. Gwynedd. 